first day vibes for you guys? I mean, just simple question. What was it like out there to be out there for the first day of their practice? Man, it felt great. Uh, I felt alive. Had a lot of fun out there with my boys. Um, really just trying to, uh, you know, enjoy this last spring for me. Does it ever shock you how fast spring ball comes around, or is it more just waiting to get it started? Yeah, it, it shocks me every time. It really just shocks me how how fast this whole college thing goes, really. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. The spring ball's already here, so, yeah. We spent all last offseason asking you what it was going to be like getting the chance to step up. What was it like last year, and how much different does it feel this year, knowing that you can, you can do that? Yeah, uh, I mean... I've always, you know, you got to have that confidence in yourself. Uh, like every player needs to have that confidence in herself. But um, just going out there and, you know, I trust in my guys. I trust all my teammates. I know that they're going to do what they got to do in order to, for me to get my job done. So it's really just about trusting my teammates. They give me that confidence to go out there and play. What do you like about the uh, running back room and the competition that you guys will, will bring about in one another? Yeah, I feel like... Our whole room is just full of dogs. Um, we got so much talent in our room. Uh, it's very competitive. And yeah, I mean, it's very competitive. Everybody is going to have to work for every rep they get. I was say, how good do you feel like this running back core can be as well? Because you've obviously got guys that came back from last year. You guys are trying to get healthy too, but also got some young players coming in like Kendrick Raphael mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I feel like our room is very versatile. Um, and yeah, everybody can do different things. So, I mean, it really just depends what, you know, what we all uh, put on film out there this spring on the, on the field, so. Any thoughts on the offense and the scheme <coughs> come with the new offense? I'm actually very excited about this new offense. Um, I feel like for the running backs, it brings us a lot of versatility, allow us to make a lot more explosive plays. So I'm just really excited. The quarterbacks have said that it's quarterback friendly. Do you feel like it's running back friendly too? With you guys getting a lot of a lot of chances to get out there? Yeah, I feel like it's it's running back friendly as well. I mean, now for us, you know, we're basically able to get out routes a lot more. So I say it's running back friendly. How, you know, you mentioned Kendrick Raphael. How do you kind of take a younger player like that under your wing? Oh yeah, I love Kendrick. Uh, you know, he's just trying to learn right now. Basically, just trying. If he mess up, you know, just tell him like, look. You know, you got this right here or whatever, you know. But yeah, he's a great kid, cool. Um, I'm just try, I just try to help him out as much as I can each day. It's obviously time flies, as you mentioned. What does wearing this NC State jersey for all these years meant to you? And what do you want to leave behind? Obviously, this is early, you got a long ways from the season. Yeah. But what do you want to leave behind? Yeah, I mean, I, I love, I, I'm so glad I, I came here, actually. Like, I love it here. I love NC State. I love wearing the NC State jersey. I love playing for NC State. Um, I really just want to leave behind, uh, you know, I want to accomplish something with my brothers. You know, I want to, I want an ACC championship. I want, I want to accomplish that with my brothers. So I'm really just trying to leave that behind here. Steve Gordon talked earlier this week about, you know, the patience of some guys and them having the chance to step up this year. You know, what would you say to somebody that's you know, still kind of waiting, <coughs> buying their time, at, you know, seeing the rewards that you have now and obviously playing the way that you done with special teams a couple years ago too. Uh, so you acting like the next guy? Yeah, well, I'm just saying like, what would you say about your time and, and waiting your turn uh, and still making an impact on the team? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like obviously nobody likes to wait or ride the bench, you know? Nobody likes that, but I mean, you really just gotta look at the bigger picture, you know, trust, you know, that everything, trust the process pretty much. Uh, you know, have confidence in your ability and, and, and in your play and yeah, you just got to look at the bigger picture, man. Second guy.